There is a big secret in incentive compensation design, um, something which people really don't talk about, and that is that if you were to take all of the most successful companies, measured in terms of the success of their remuneration programs, those companies have more boring programs than the less successful companies. Let me explain. We have an index which looks at the total value that is delivered by chief executives. Uh, we look at total value added to shareholders for every one pound paid. If you were to look at the top 10 companies each year in that index for the last 10 years, what you would find is that those companies typically pay slightly more salary, but have far less variability in their variable compensation, short-term and long-term incentives, than all the other companies. Which is surprising, but perhaps it tells you something that you already knew, which is that in the end, if you have a successful company, it tends to attract people who really want to work for that organization. And to an extent, the incentive compensation doesn't need to be as leveraged as it would have to be elsewhere. That's something that we could help you find out, something that you can test, and we have found it very useful with our clients. Mm -hmm.